raising children can be an overwhelming joy. A child represents the creation that comes from our own body. And more than just a physical connection, a, a child is an embodiment of the spirit of the parents. A child represents the hopes and dreams of the parents. Out of life's failures and disillusionment, the child represents the hope of a new beginning. But all too often, a child goes spinning in the wrong direction from what the parent, parents want. Given that gift of freedom, a child goes sour. He or she is selfish and even destructive of self and others. Perhaps they fall into addictions to money, sensuality, drugs, and or irresponsibility. In many cases, parents are not guilty, and because they've really tried to do their best in giving love and direction to wayward children. Well, perhaps they're not perfect parents, but their responsibility generally was upheld. The child took another mysterious course. Today's story by Isaiah of a well-built and well-cared-for grape vineyard that doesn't produce the hope for harvest speaks of God's longing for us to be fruitful in our lives. Like the confounded parent that has to deal with a wayward child, so God is frustrated with our waywardness. This awareness of God's caring for us can become a strong motivation for us to turn our lives around. When I'm challenged to change in either insignificant or profound ways, I only do it when I know that I'm being called to change by someone who really loves me. That love has a strong pull. Today, I'm reminded of God's love for me. God has a plan, a dream for my life. He's laid out my vineyard. He longs to water me, to hoe me, to trim me so that I can produce succulent fruit. But just like sometimes those children, um, I so many times deviate from God's plan. But with the acceptance of his love, I can begin again. I can even expect a revision plan by God that will allow me to be more and more fruitful. Oh, Lord, thank you for loving me. With this love, I can turn and become part of your dream. Give strength to parents who struggle with children that go in the wrong direction. And Lord, may we never forget that you care for us when we go in the wrong direction also.